Ahoy mateys! My name is Cullen and this is my Chris Craft Corinthian. Two weeks ago I bought a magma grill but I hated it so much I had to send it back. I just got a new one in the mail. Let's check it out. So magma let me down but hopefully this grill will be better than the last one. You can check out that video to see why I didn't like that magma grill that I got. This is a Kuma brand grill. I think it's a 316 Elite. Anyway, let's open it up and see how it looks. It's a lot bigger than the magma grill was and it was cheaper by like a hundred bucks or so at least. If the build quality is better, this will be a win-win in so many ways. Wow, yeah, I really like the way it looks and first impression, these latches are so much better. That's how you do a latch on a grill. Open it up and there's the regulator. Oh, it's not nice. They zip tied the regulator down to the, uh, the grill rack so it doesn't rattle around. So much better already. I'm not gonna jinx it, but I think this might be the right grill. I am thrilled with this, like 100%. I'm, I'm very excited. Let's get the mount and the cover unwrapped and get this thing on the railing. This is the canvas cover here. Let's pull that out. They don't have different options for colors. It's black or nothing. That's one place that Magma might beat out is they have more choices for the color of the canvas. But honestly, you can't go wrong with black. This is like super solid. Look at that. It's just gonna clamp right on four different bolts. The, the Magma grill cross-threaded itself onto my boot and I couldn't get it off without breaking things. This just seems better designed. Let's get it on. And on goes the grill. Let's gas it up. And there's a nice spring latch here that actually keeps the can from falling out. That's a good touch. And of course it has an electric ignition and a thermometer. Wow, can you believe it? And these latches are perfect, no rattling, none at all. Solid. Wow. That's a lot of area. Let's get this thing started. All right. We're cooking that fast. Wow. So let's let that warm up a little bit and get our burgers on. So we've got some cumin, parsley, salt, pepper, and uh, minced onion that we're putting into these hamburgers. Really big. These are like at least a third of a pound each. These are gonna be great. I, I can't wait to cook on my new grill. This is awesome. Let's put these burgers on. I'm excited. That top rack is actually getting in my way a little bit and there's not a whole lot of space uh, to the, the top of the grill when it's closed. So it might make sense just to get rid of that top rack if it's, it's not super useful. Let's close this up and give it a couple minutes and let's slice up some onions in the meantime. Whoa. Nice. Let's turn down the heat a little bit. <laughs> I'm happy. You don't know what you're doing. I know. Let's check on these burgers. They're looking pretty good, almost cooked all the way through. One thing is this regulator, even on low, will get this grill up to like 750 degrees. I don't know if it's possible to buy a different regulator that hooks into that little connector. If there is, I'm definitely going to get it because even on low, this thing is way too hot. Future Cullen here and after a couple of hours of grilling, the temperature leveled out to about 200 degrees. I don't know if the propane pressure was just really high on a brand new tank or if the grill had to break in for a little bit before it was going to be level. Anyway, it's great now, perfectly workable. All right, they turned out a little bit crunchy on the outside, but they're cooked all the way through. It's just because it gets too hot. And this one isn't even cooked all the way through in the middle yet, but it's, it's almost burned on the outside. Oh well, the grill works really great besides the temperature thing, and I think that's easily fixed. I've cooked steak, corn on the cob, chicken, pork chops. It was all delicious, cooked perfectly. I'm no grill master, but this kuma makes me feel like one. 
And here's what it looks like with the cover on, and it's actually also a carrying case. That's kind of useless for me, but there's a handle down there. So if you wanted to carry it around in this uh, case, you could. I think that's pretty neat. So that's it for now. My advice is don't go for Magma just because that's the one you know about. Uh, there are lots of other brands that are as good or better and cheaper. This one was 100 bucks cheaper than the smaller Magma grill that I tried a couple days ago. So I really like this. This is the Kuma 316 Elite. And uh, that's the grill that I'm going to keep on my boat. I like it. And hey, if you like this video, there's a ton more on the way. The best way to keep in touch is to hit that subscribe button and even follow me on Twitter for some more behind the scenes stuff. I'll see y'all next time. Hey!